Hey, hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to learn how to use data packs in Realms. So I tried this once uh, already. Uh, this is my first time using Realms actually. Uh, I'm a server guy, so uh, Realms is really not something for me, but many people uh, find Realms easy to use. So let's try to do that. So, um, I'm using the trial by the way and it is working if you configure realms here uh, I already tried once and uh, it didn't work uh, doing it the way I thought it was uh, going to work and many people reported that uh, trying to uh, upload maps with data packs won't work so uh, they were not uh, wrong I tried it and it didn't work but eventually uh, it did. Uh, there is a little trick that I'll tell you in a second. But first, let me tell you how to install data packs and and your single player world, and then we're going to upload it. All right, so let's go to single player, and I created here the uh, map that says new data pack test. So let's open that one. Uh, it generated uh, the map. Uh, one time so it's loading fast right now uh, the only problem is that my game crashed because I don't know something with OBS and discord together um, make the game engine fail for some reason so right now the world is loading I can see it's still a bit laggy okay it seems like now it's good all right, so let's install the data packs. And for this, you can stay inside the game, but uh, you may get attacked at night. So you better <laughs> save and quit. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the folder uh, where this thing is. You can press Windows R and you're gonna get into the run uh, window. And here you need to write percentage app data and close it again with the percent sign and you press ok and that will open uh, your app data folder and there you can see it uh, that minecraft that is your minecraft folder you go to saves and find that one new data pack test and this is your map folder and inside you have the data packs uh, folder and here we're gonna drop uh, all the data packs uh, we have available. Okay, so we're gonna drop here the data pack that I made. This one player sleep with uh, random messages, player head drops, and another one the scrub ender man anti griff. And we're going to select the selective grief option. And we're gonna copy it here. So these are your data packs. And now let's go back to the game. Okay, so we're back and let's go to single player and open that world. Okay, so this one has the data packs now. And what you need to do, and this is the tricky part, you need to press escape and hit open to LAN, allow cheats, and start LAN world. So this will turn the uh, this single player into a server, and that is when you need to execute the command reload. So this uh, command, for example, reload, is not available in Realms. And once you do that, you're gonna see that the data packs have been installed. So let's try it now. Uh, press escape and save and quit because this is the map that we're going to upload to realms so let's go to realms configure the realm and select the world that you're going to use mine is this one reset the world upload world and select that uh, map that has the data packs and the way that we saved it Uploading, verifies, upload done. Good, it's ready to join. So I'm gonna join. 
All right, we're in. So, uh, let's test the data packs. And for that, we're going to need a couple things. All right, so we are back now and we have the things we need to test this. And one of the things that first we're going to check is if uh, the Enderman anti-griff is uh, on. And that is simply by uh, using F3 and checking out the block. And the block shouldn't have the, the tag Enderman holdable. But because we had the uh, melon and pumpkin with that uh, selective grief, we have it here. Uh, hashtag Minecraft Enderman holdable for these two types of blocks, but not a regular vanilla block that will have that tag. All right, so that is one. And now let's test the other one, which is uh, the one player sleep. Let's make it nighttime. Time set night. All right, so if I go to sleep, and you, you see a new message there if somebody clicks on that message I'm gonna get woken up and I get a message as well so if I go to sleep again there's another random message and another random message uh, while I get uh, woken up so that is working as well now let's test player head drops for that I'm gonna give myself a diamond let's try axe why not? I'm going to ask myself here. So this is my camera account. And I'm going to kill him. All right. There we go. We have the head. You can wear it if you want. And yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. So um, if you use, if you place the head down and, and you pick it up again, you should see the name of the player still that persists. So we are all good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. And well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.